Good morning. They said it was safe, right? Well, it's a religion, isn't it? Yeah. You have to believe in it. Now, I was listening to this guy, Marty Logan, in Arizona. He's telling the story about his mother, how she got the shot and then she died the next day. And there will be a link below this video. This is the story. It says the medical examiner didn't want to do an autopsy. And they wanted to write flu on the death certificate. And the family said, no, you can't do this. So the family paid for an autopsy. Right. And the death certificate says cardiac failure. But the autopsy says, no, there's no cardiac failure. No heart attack, or no stroke. It was rapid liver failure. And this guy, Marty Logan, the son, asked the doctor, what was it like in her final moments? And he says, when she died, she had a shortness of breath. It was like being choked. Terrible. The pathologist said it was an adverse reaction to the shot. And this guy, uh, the son, he says, my mom tested negative on the 31st of January. She received the shot on the 16th of February. I had dinner with her that night. We had onion rings. We had a margarita. She was fine. Then the next day she dropped dead. Yeah, it is a religion, isn't it? You are supposed to believe. Yeah. And the big savior is Bill Gates and the shot, you know, this is the big savior. And the the flu is the doomsday. Yeah, you have to believe. They created this religion, see. And people are starting to become non non believers. Yeah. You know, I had this uh, old couple visiting the homestead here yesterday. They were here to look at some rabbits. Very nice old couple. And they immediately shook my hand. Yeah. I was so happy to shake their hands. And I thought, you know, these are non-believers. Yeah. <laughs> and here in Sweden right now, you can get these uh, hand sanitizers and the masks. Very, very cheap. They are on sale right now. I know what these believers think of us. They, they think we are crazy, dangerous people, right? There's still so many believers. Yeah. They read mainstream media, they watch TV, and they believe. Yeah. They believe in Fauci, they believe in Gates, the Savior, the prophets. Mainstream media is like the preachers, aren't they? You know, they don't talk about this story. Of course not. This is not part of the religion. This is not part of the faith. Now, what about these guys who created this religion, like Bill Gates? Yeah. What about them? They created this. They knew it was fake. Yeah. They did this deliberately. So how do they feel about you, the non-believer? Yeah, I really wanted to know this. So I actually invited Bill Gates. Hey, he's right here. Welcome, Bill Gates. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Yeah, I'm a very rich man, you know. Yeah, all right. I don't want to talk about your money. I want to know this. How do you feel about us who don't believe in this religion? What do you mean religion? Well, it's a religion, right? You're supposed to believe, right? And you are the prophet, you are the savior, aren't you? Well, I don't know. So, what is the answer to the question? Just answer the question. Well, I, Stefan, I don't like you, you non-believers, as you say. I don't like you. Yeah. I think you are bad. Yeah. You're bad for, bus for business. Yes. Well, thank you for the answer. Don't go away. Don't leave. 
I have some plans for you. Yeah, stick around and I'll see you later. Alright. Be good.